Most websites have some type of menu or navigation bar. That way the user can navigate to any page of the site. We often create them in HTML using list elements with anchor links. But those don't really look like a menu. We can use the Bootstrap Nav component to style our list elements as a navigation bar. Let's style a menu with Bootstrap. We still have the Pet Cafe open in VS Code on the left and the running website on the right, along with the Bootstrap documentation. Let's start with a look at the docs. I'll maximize the browser and click on Docs. On the left side, find Components and then Navbar. How did I know to look there in the documentation? Instead of using the slough pane, we could instead use the search box on top to find what we need. Scrolling down, we see an example of a horizontal navigation bar and a list of some of the navbar classes. Let's add navbar classes to our index.html file. Click back to the Virtual Pet Cafe tab and reposition so we can watch the impact of the classes we add. In VS Code, click to edit the index.html file. Scrolling down, on the nav element, we'll add the Bootstrap navbar class. That moved our options to the right, but that's not where we want them. We'll fix that in a moment. In the figure element, we'll add the navbar brand class. Use navbar brand for a logo, company name, or other branding content. And let's round our image using the rounded circle border class on the image element. And reformat a bit. Looking at the browser, we now have a rounded image. It's not quite a circle because of our height and width here. Next, we'll style the unordered list and list item elements. On the UL tag, we'll add classes nav space me auto. Wow, our menu is now horizontal. The nav class told it that it should behave like a navigation bar. As we discussed earlier in this course, the ME is for margin end, which sets the margin at the end of the line to automatic, basically left aligning the options. Now we need to add a class of nav item to each LI element. Here's a fun VS Code feature. Click in the first LI element, hold down the Alt key or Option key on the Mac, and click in each of the other LI elements. This creates multiple cursors. Then type space class equals nav-item. They all update at the same time. Nice. Press Escape to clear the cursors. Let's use the same technique to add classes to the anchor elements. Click into the A element, hold down the Alt key or Option key, click, 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 space, class equals nav-link, space, text-light. We use text-light so the text is easier to read against our dark background. Escape to clear the cursors. Wow, that looks like a menu. Before we move on, let's do some reformatting, moving the A elements onto their own line so we can see them better. Back in the browser, click on Meet Our Virtual Pets and yikes, this page needs help as well. Since we want a consistent color scheme, header, and footer on every page, let's copy and paste the work we've done so far to each of our HTML files. Open Explorer and double click on each HTML file to open it. Then close Explorer for more space. Making VS Code wider, we see each file in the tabs across the top. Click on the index.html file and scroll up. First, we need these links. We want both the Bootstrap link and the Global Style Sheet. Select them both and press Ctrl-C to copy them. Open each of the pages and paste these in just above the closing head tag. Click pet-create.html and paste. Click pet-list.html and paste. And click yo-yo-detail.html and paste. Next, we want the header with our new navbar on every page. In the index.html file, use the arrows that appear in the left column 
to close the header element so it's easier to copy. Then copy the body element start tag and the header start and end tags. Open one of the other pages, close its header element, select the body element start tag and the header start and end tags, and paste. This replaces those lines with the new body start tag with the background color style class and the new header element. Then repeat for each page. Click the tab, close the header, select, and paste. Click the tab, close the header, select, and paste. We also want to add the container class to each of our pages. Click on the pet-create.html page. Scroll down. Under the main element, add a div element. Then cut the div end tag and paste it above the main closing tag. Then in the start tag, add a class of container. Repeat this for each page. pet-list.html, insert the div, cut the closing tag, paste it, scroll back up, Add the div class attribute and set it to container. Click yoyo-detail.html. Insert the div. Cut the closing tag. Paste it. Scroll back up. Add the div class attribute and set it to container. Now we'll add the branded color to each of our headings. In pet-create.html, we'll add it to our h1 here. Class equals text-secondary. In pet-list.html, we'll add it to this h1 element. Class equals text-secondary. And in yoyo-detail.html, we'll add it to this h1. Class equals text-secondary. And we'll add it to the h2 in each of our sections. I'll copy it and paste it here, here, and here. Lastly, we'll copy and paste the footer. Ensure we are looking at the index.html file. Scroll down, close the footer, and copy it. Then replace the footer in each of the other pages. pet-create.html, scroll down, select the footer, and paste. pet-list.html, scroll down, select the footer, and paste yoyo-detail.html, scroll down, select the footer, and paste. That should be it. Let's check each of our pages. Home looks good. We have our image, menu, and our footer. Meet Our Virtual Pets has our header and footer, but the table could use a bit better styling. Click on Yoyo. The header and footer are here as well, but this page could use some layout work. Click on Create My Pet, and the header and footer are styled, but the rest of the form could be improved. Note that the View My Pets page wasn't created, and clicking that option doesn't do anything. Now let's go back to the slides. So, we use Bootstrap to style a set of list items into a menu. The navbar class is the responsive navigation header and is often used on the nav element. The nav class styles an HTML list as a navigation bar. Use the nav item class to style each list item and the nav link class to style each anchor link. Next up, let's improve the look of our table. Before you go, please like and subscribe.